Tom Brady is now a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. He signed that two-year, we now know the details, two-year, $50 million guaranteed, which uh, guaranteed money was more than anything that he's ever made it in New England. Decided to leave after 20 years to go on to a new football journey in Tampa Bay. Being a big Tom Brady fan, Ali, what are your thoughts on him playing in Tampa Bay? I think it's great. Originally, actually, I thought he was going to go to the Chargers because, you know, it's it's his hometown. He's from California. Um, the weather would have been nice. Uh, he would have had a chance to win some games against the Denver Broncos, which is, by the way, if you guys didn't know, the only team that Tom Brady has a losing record against is the Denver Broncos. I did not know that. I did not know that. Um, I don't know what the exact record is. I don't want to be saying like incorrect facts, but uh, I think he's just a few games behind from catching up. But um, it's all right. I mean, he uh, he wins the games that matter the most. So, but I think it's a pretty good ex- uh, time for him, knowing like he's 43 years old and he's about to enter the you know the twilight of his career. And I know he's not going to play forever. And I know that he, you know, him, he's always had this chip on his shoulder, like being like the sixth round pick. And he wants to prove everybody, you know, prove to the, all these people that kind of missed out on him on the draft. I mean, include, including the Patriots. I mean, the Patriots passed on him, what, like five times? He's a sixth round pick. So, um, you know, I I honestly think that it's, it's a good opportunity for him to go and learn, uh, you know, a new system, a new offensive coordinator. Uh, with different guys, guys with like you know, no no offense to the wide receivers in New England, but like last year they just they weren't that good. If I'm gonna be honest, like they led the league in drops, they led the league in lack of separation from the DBs. Like if you double Edelman, who else is gonna beat you? I and mean, no, nobody else on that route. Like you're t- you didn't have a tight end. Like Gronk retired. You had Matt Lacoste. You had Ryan Izzo and, and an old old Ben Watson. You know, uh, and he retired this this season. Uh, if you guys didn't know, you know, I think it's this this season's a really good opportunity for Tom to show that if you give him the right guys, he can actually do something special. Like I feel like he is throwing for like at least thirty plus touchdowns, and you know he's not gonna have as many picks as Jameis had last, last <laughs> season. Hope not. You know, that's kind of how I feel about the whole situation. I feel like it's his his time, his opportunity to show the world that he is 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 the person who was most responsible for for the Patriots success. Because we could go on and on about what Bill Belichick has done without him. I mean we can save that for like another segment another time. But I, I just feel like this is the opportunity for Tom to really just Proof to himself, proof to everybody else that he can go win a seventh ring on a different team. And if he does that, then I don't really don't know what else to say, to be honest. I don't know what else to argue for Tom, like because I feel like he'd be doing everything. So yeah, at that point, it'd be set in stone on who the greatest quarterback of all time. Not that it hasn't already been set in stone for most people at this right. point. Do you feel like with the Super Bowl being in Tampa, that the Buccaneers are the favorite in the NFC to go to the Super Bowl? Um, I think a lot of people are saying that right now during the moment. We'll have to see how it plays out. Um, the NFC is not, I mean, it's not an easy conference. I mean, but I think with the new format, with the NFL that laid out with the playoff format, I think they increased it to seven seven teams in each conference with, with the first seed getting the bye. So I don't know. We have to see. But I personally think, yes, I, I, I don't think you give Tom Brady weapons, it, it's, it's hard to deal with. Like, you gave him Randy Moss. He broke records. You give, I mean, you, you saw it for yourself. You give Tom Brady one guy. Imagine he's he's got two, you know, above six foot three, six foot four guys, and like Godwin and and Evans, and um, yeah, like he, if if he gets like a solid third down back, which they can pick up from free agency, and you know the offensive line can get it together. That's how I feel about Tampa Bay, and he's got two guys you know that that are gonna he does that, are, that 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 offense guys like i'm telling you like this is the ultimate like 38 touchdown like six interception season in my opinion but i feel like it's gonna translate into a lot of w's a lot of w's especially if the defense can hold his own their defense is pretty good too their defense is nice yeah which is uh you, you talked about that defense a lot of people get surprised when they hear that the bucks defense isn't as bad as it may look 
it's as bad on paper because Jameis Winston throws so many interceptions, so many turnovers that they're in bad field position. So they're 29th and giving up points. But then you look at the run defense, I believe they were first or second and rush yards allowed. Mm-hmm. So at that point, you know, with the good defense, with the weapons that you were talking about, we'll have to see. And I know that one person that is happy that Tom Brady is in Tampa Bay is Mike Evans, who is a client of Day One Sports and Entertainment, a sports agency based out of here in Atlanta. If you guys haven't checked out that documentary of the NFL Combine prep of Hakeem Adeniji and Michael Pinckney, two college prospects going into the NFL, check it out on Time to Football. It was the very last video that we put up. 